aerospace engineering is uh, the part of engineering that deals with designing air and space vehicles, airplanes, spacecraft, satellites. Anything that comes in contact to an outside environment with fluid and will move through some sort of space, such as an airplane, a rocket, a satellite, a car, even a golf ball. Yeah, if it moves through any type of fluid is the definition the professors give, but it's it's really more than that. Think of an airplane, there's so many aspects of it that can go into making it fly. There's design of the airfoil, design of the body in general, the uh, controls, the kind of electronics. There's a lot of emphasis on systems integration as well and understanding how different subsystems could work on their own, but as soon as you put them together, it may not be the same. I picked aerospace engineering because um, it closely resembled all the other uh, engineering disciplines. However, it was primarily focused on uh, aeronautics and space. So that means, you know, airplanes and rockets and satellites. I'm passionate about seeing the way that different parts of the system come together. How you can take the propulsion, the structures, the aerodynamics and the controls of aerospace engineering of any type of complex system and bring them together is something that really just makes me smile. If you want to be a fighter pilot, an aerospace degree is the, probably the best way to go. There's a lot of math involved in that. Um, if you want to be an astronaut, um, if you want to fly commercially, or you can do test engineering, which is what I am interested in doing. I wanted to be an astronaut. And then I found out that I was too tall to be an astronaut. And so a very childish part of my mind said, fine, I'll build my own. Most people are fascinated and intrigued by how airplanes work, how flight works and I was no different. When I was little, my dad and I used to go out and sit out on the runway and watch planes take off and land. Airplanes are just a, such a fascinating piece of technology. I mean, it's this several ton heavy metal object that somehow glides smoothly through the air. I chose to come to Iowa State because I knew it had a reputable aerospace engineering program and it seemed like a unique opportunity for me to go to and meet new people, yet still pretty close to the, my hometown. When students think of aerospace engineering, they think of planes and rockets, and while that is a lot of what you'll see around Howe Hall, there are professors that do a lot of interesting research. We have wind tunnels, whether that be massive wind tunnels that you can fit inside, or a de-icing wind tunnel that focuses on the impact of ice on wings. Lots of cool and interesting club, whether they want to build a rocket or a space mining robot, like you can do all these things here, which is really cool. So we started Cyclone Rocketry about a year ago. Um, and that being said, it's been the craziest year of my life. So Make to Innovate is this hands-on program that basically lets you apply your skills that you're learning in aerospace engineering to the real world before you actually get out there uh, in a job. This year we're currently working on a biplane design with about a four foot wingspan. Being an engineer can be so many different things to so many companies and people. I mean, it's really what you want to do with the rest of your life, that that can be your career path. But my dream job, I would like to think, would be working on this new generation of small satellites. My dream job would be to use applied fluid mechanics research, especially in the area of energy and the environment. I want to work with space launch vehicles. To be a test engineer for a commercial space company because I don't know what other kind of job would want to make me get up in the morning other than, you know, flying a rocket every day.